If you're an online course creator or you want to create courses and host them on your own WordPress website, this video is for you because I'm gonna share some tips that you can apply to your own websites to make the workflow much, much easier. So yesterday I created a tutorial in Divi on how to create a landing page. In fact, let me show you what it looks like. So this is the final design that we work towards. So pretty much this is just a landing page uh, which showcases your course. It goes through the modules, what the course is for, meet the author, and so on. So let's say you want to use this layout for your actual course. Now, first of all, what you need to do is to save this layout as a template so that you can use it over and over again, just in case maybe you, you may want to create two, three, four, or even five courses. So let me show you how to do that. So first of all, what you want to do after you've completed designing this is you want to come over here to the bottom and click on portability. Now, this is where you want to give this layout a name. So we could just say uh, courses layout. But of course you can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and click on export DV builder layout. So now this layout has been exported. So that means every time you want to create your course, you can just you know drag it in and use it as you please. Okay, so how do we connect this layout and really make it work for us so that when people come to our landing page, they can actually buy the course? So in this example, I'm gonna be using Cartflows and also WooCommerce. So let me show you how you connect this. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm just going to open this in a new tab and then log into my website. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna go into my uh, dashboard area here. So over here, we want to create our landing page, but we want to do it in cart flows because it's easily manageable there because you can also add uh, upsells or downsells later on as you wish. Okay, so I've already got cart flows installed. And by the way, if you want to um, use cart flows, I have an affiliate link if you buy cart flows, Using my affiliate link, I'll give you access to my Cardflows mastery course. All right, so over here, I'm just gonna come over here to Cardflows, and then I'm just gonna click on Flows. So let's give this course a name. So I'm just gonna click here on Add New to add a new flow. Now over here, it doesn't really matter what uh, template I choose because we're going to override it with the one that we've just created. So I'm just gonna click here on uh, this evergreen one. So it's going through the steps to import it. And there we go, it's imported. So let's give this course a name and let's say this course is called uh, Money Mastery. Okay, so that's the name of our course. It's got a landing page, a checkout page, and a thank you page. So for now, I'm gonna click on update. And now this has been saved. Now, the next thing we need to do is to uh, go ahead and create the product, which is our course in WooCommerce. So I'm gonna come over here to WooCommerce I mean, in fact, to products, click on add new. We're gonna call this product Money Mastery. Okay, now let's give it a price. So I'm just gonna scroll down here and give it a price of 997. And pretty much that's all we need to do here. I'm gonna click here on publish. Okay, great. Now my course has been published. I'm gonna come back over here to cut flows, click on flows. And then we're gonna go back into our money mastery flow. So I'm gonna click here on edit. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is to assign a product to our checkout page. So I'm gonna click here on edit. And then here where it says select a product, I need to choose that product that we've just created. So it's gonna be co it's called money mastery. So I'm gonna select it. Now over here, we can apply the coupon because as you can see over here, we have a discount, uh, which gives it the, um, which gives the price, which brings the, brown, the price down to 497. So that's something that we can do later on. But for now, I'm just gonna add this product in. Now, what I usually do as well when I uh, work on this uh, checkout page is to come over here to the checkout field. So over here, I'm gonna enable the custom field editor. So as you can see by default, it comes with all these fields. So all I need to collect here is the first name and the email address, because that's the information that's needed to register for the course. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all of this. Okay, so now I just have my first name and email address, and that's, on, that's all that I'm collecting. So I'm gonna click here on update, and then we're gonna go back to edit flow. Right, so our checkout page now has 
a product assigned to it. That's looking great. Now let's go to our landing page and let me show you how to add that design that we've just exported. So I'm gonna click here on edit, build on front end. Right, so what you'll find is this is the default landing page that comes with cut flows, but of course this is not what we want to use because we have our own. So here it is, uh, this is where uh, it is, this courses.json file that we exported earlier on. I'm gonna show in Finder. So all I have to do now is just to drag this onto anywhere on this page, click on replace existing content, and then import Divi Builder layout. Okay, so now this design has um, taken over so that means this is now our latest design. Fantastic. The only one thing that we need to do here is to come here into our section settings. So the reason why we need to come over here is we have this white space here. So to get rid of it, I'm just going to drag this all the way up to about minus 80. Okay. So that gets rid of that white space. So that's all I need to do. I'm going to save. Okay. Now this button here is not linking anywhere. So let me show you how you can get that fixed. So first of all, I'm going to save this page and then go back into cart flows. Okay. So I'm going to exit the visual builder. So I'll just take a quick look here and everything seems to look okay. Great. So what I'm going to do now is to click on edit the step. So this now takes me back. So what I need here is this short codes. So I'm gonna double click on that, copy it. Now, let me show you why we need the short code. So I'm gonna come back over here to edit flow. So here on this page, when you click that button, in fact, this button here, this buy now button, it should take us here to the checkout page. So without that uh, code that I've just copied, uh, it doesn't take us to the next page. So this is why we need to come back over here and add it. So I'm gonna come back, build on front end, and then over here, we're going to go into our module settings, click on link, button URL link. So here is where I'm going to paste my link. And then I'm just going to save this. Save the page. All right, so now that this is saved, now let's take a look at our checkout page. I'm going to click on edit step, back to edit flow. So now I'm going to take a quick peek at my checkout page. So this is our checkout page. So basically, this is where all our information is. So as you can see here, we have the uh, Money Mastery uh, 997. That's the product that we added earlier on. And this is where you can also set up your coupon code so that uh, when someone comes here, enter the coupon code, they'll get the discount. Okay, and this will proceed to checkout. And over here, we have our guarantee. Now on the top here, what you could also do is you could just get rid of you know, all this, change the colors if you want to. It's all up to you. It's quite straightforward to do. You can just click here on Enable Visual Builder. And then you can actually go in and make your customization. So usually uh, here, I'll just like to uh, just add, in fact, let me get rid of all this. And then just add a single column with text inside. Right, so on my text module here, I'm just gonna call this Checkout. Come over here to design, text. I'm gonna make it all caps, choose pop-ins. And then for my size here, I'm just gonna make it nice and big. Maybe 44 is great, center it. And I'm gonna change the color. So I'm gonna make it white, so it's easier to read. And then over here on the font weight, I'm just gonna make it light. So pretty much, I think that that's looking great. Now over here, we have that guarantee already. So I'm gonna get rid of it just by deleting it. So I think this is fine now. I'm gonna save this, exit the visual builder. Okay, so this is our checkout page. So as you can see, it's now, it's very minimal and it looks very, very nice. So this is how you can create landing pages for your courses which also links to your checkout page. Now, the reason why I recommend using cut flows is later on, let's say you want to add an upsell. So let's say you, uh, you're you selling this main course here, but you've got another one that you're giving away for a discount if they buy this course. Now, after someone comes over here and clicks proceed to uh, PayPal, they can actually go to your upsell, which uh, gives them the opportunity to get the discount for your next course. So this is why this is much, much easier to uh, manage and control because everything is done all in cart flows. And also if you want to add an order bump here, you can also add an order bump, uh, which 
sell them on to you know something else that you have uh, to go along with your course. So pretty much this is how you can use your own designs and your own uh, Divi layouts and import them onto cut flows and create your funnels that way. Now, if you want me to uh, create more of these uh, layouts, please let me know in the comments box below. In fact, for this one here, I could actually go ahead and uh, complete it because right now I've only created the, uh, the main course landing page. So if you really like that design, uh, I could go ahead and also create the uh, thank you page and the checkout page as well. So just let me know in the comments box below if you want me to uh, create these for you know for your own uses all right then that's all i have for you today's video thank you very much for watching see you in the next one